Welcome to TechNut and the first part of our series on the HP Gen 8 microserver. In this series, we are planning on taking you through all the necessary steps required to set up the server as a hypervisor running Active Directory, a file server and Plex. The series consists of seven parts. You can jump to another part by clicking the links on the screen and the videos will be linked as soon as they are available. We picked the server up for about 2300 Swedish crowns, about $250, and after the upgrade it's going to be a $1300 system. But first things first, let's take it out of the box. Having a look at the front, we got two USB 2.0 ports, a slot for a slim optical drive, power button and LEDs for HDD activity and network activity. On the bottom we have a health LED. Inside the cover, there is space for four non-hot swappable SATA 3.5 inch drives. Also inside the cover is a tool that can be used for maintenance. In the back we got a 120mm exhaust fan, a 150W power supply, one low profile PCI Express slot and a network port for the ILO. A VGA port, two USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports and two gigabit Ethernet ports. That's pretty much it for the exterior of the server, but there is more to come. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more.